So I'm a professor of glaciology and earth observation at the University of Bristol. And I work primarily on uh, satellite observations of the polar regions. Uh, most of my work has been on Antarctica and Greenland, but I've also worked on oceanography, meteorology, and to some extent hydrology as well. So I did a degree in physics, but I've always been fascinated by the natural world and how the world works. And I, I just had a really exciting opportunity to do a degree in glaciology and geophysics in Cambridge. And it was a, a really exciting, nice opportunity. And I guess I've just stayed in the field ever since, really. The climate system, it's uh, integrated. It, every component of the climate system is interacting with every other component. But we as scientists tend to focus on our own little topic, if you like, our silo. And the fact that you have summer schools like this where you're bringing in experts in many different parts of the climate system helps us understand how the integrated system works. And so I think that is so important. You know, there are so many important challenges to address right now. Uh, it's, it's difficult to know which ones I think you should be the highest priority. But in my own field, predicting how um, sea level is going to change in the future is one of the real grand challenges in my own area of research. But I think understanding any part of the climate system and how it's going to respond to global warming and anthropogenic interference with it is absolutely fundamental. You know, it's vital that we know how the system is going to respond and how we then adapt to those changes or try and mitigate against them. Uh, there's, there's lots to be done.